Hello and welcome back to my channel and to a new video. I hope you're well and having a lovely day. I'm going to vlog today. Um, it is Saturday and it feels so good to have a Saturday and a Sunday where there is not much going on. I mentioned in my previous videos that um, we've had dance stuff pretty much every weekend since Christmas. <laughs> um, in fact, I've just been to do the food shop and I bought a roast for tomorrow and it's the first roast of 2024, which is really unusual seeing as we're in the second second weekend of February. Um, but it's the first time I've been home to cook one. So uh, that's really nice. Uh, Phoebe has got a couple of rehearsals. She's got one this afternoon for a couple of hours and then all tomorrow morning. But for her, that's like quiet. <laughs> so it's going to be quite nice to not do very much. So I thought I would vlog just a few little bits of what we're up to um, this weekend, as I say, not an awful lot. I think when I drop her um, this afternoon, I might nip into town and just have a mooch around the shops. She needs a few bits. She's going skiing next weekend, which is exciting with the school. So she needs a few little bits that she could do with perhaps a couple of hoodies and another pair of leggings and things like that. So I might pop into Primark and see what they've got um, this afternoon. Tomorrow morning, we're gonna go for a nice long dog walk when I've dropped her off at her rehearsal somewhere a bit different to normal, uh, well, different to what we normally do. You would have seen it in the vlogs before. I think we're gonna to go to Cywell, which is um, like a reservoir near here. <coughs> um, but what I'm gonna do first is show you some bits I got from Timu. So let's, let's do that first. So I thought I'd show you a few bits I got from Timu. I have said before that previously Timu had asked me to work with them, um, which I know lots of people do. Um, and I've always said no, purely because I wanted to just check really what the quality was and what the items were like and shop myself a few times first. I don't like sort of just jumping on a bandwagon and going, oh yeah, you know, this stuff's great when it's not. Um, so I wanted to just buy some stuff myself first. And actually everything that I've got from there, just I think pretty much everything I have used and used and used and I have loved. All the Christmas stuff I got, the things before, I got a little thing for cleaning the dogs and the little dog towels actually, they were much smaller than I had thought when I got them, but actually they've been really useful. So um, when they gave me the opportunity to work with them again, I, uh, again, I thought, well, why not? So, um, because I don't have any doubts about, you know, sharing this stuff with you. So they gave me a small amount of money to spend. Um, it were, I think the items here came to about 34 pounds. So it's not loads and loads. Um, and there is a link um, in fact, bear with, let me just get my phone. So there is a link down below you can get, um, if you download the app with the link below, you can get a hundred pound coupon bundle. Um, and I think it's if you spend X amount, you get X amount of vouchers. Um, or if you use the code ACD633156, I'll put it here and it's also in the description below. At the checkout, you get an extra 30% off anything you buy and that's for new app users so if you've not shopped on the app before you can get 30% off um, with that code um, but there's loads of stuff on there I mean they do pretty much everything from clothes and shoes to household items to pet stuff you know you name it they've got it there's free shipping and free returns which is really good um, and um, yeah that's Timu um, most of you probably know Timu already but if not I, I recommend you go and have a look so this is my little parcel um, and I can't entirely remember what I ordered. There's only, I think there's about six items that I got. Um, ah, I remember this one. Um, but there were some things I needed, so which is why I went on and thought, right, I'm gonna do this. Um, like this was a kind of risky purchase. I've never purchased any clothes. Oh, actually I have. I've purchased a Christmas jumper, which actually was really nice. Um, but other than that, I've not purchased any clothes on Timmy before. So I thought I would go for this. I was looking for like a fleecy gilet. Um, and I saw this one, I thought actually that looked really nice. I think it was only like six or seven pounds. It's not very thick and that's what I wanted. I wanted something that would go underneath another coat so that if it's particularly chilly on a dog walk or whatever, I could wear it or I could wear it over something else. Um, and this is it. Actually, it's really nice. It's super soft, really nice, very plain, just a cream with the black, um, what do you call that? I was gonna say beading, is that right? That's not right, that's on the floor. Black, I don't know. Black bit around the edge, edging. <laughs> um, there and there. And yeah, I really like that. I wonder what it looks like on. It's not gonna go with what I've got on because I've got another cream thingy on. Um, I think I got it in like a large, 
because I knew I wanted it to go over things. I mean, I wasn't expecting you know, mega quality for six, seven quid, but actually it fits me perfectly, that's for sure. And yeah, I really like that. That's gonna come in really useful. Spe oh, oh no, it's got, it hasn't got any pockets. Never mind. it would have been nice if it had pockets, but you can't expect too much for a small amount of money. But it's, it's elasticated around the bottom and yeah, I think, I think going into spring, this will be super useful just to keep you a little bit extra warm if you don't want to wear a coat if it's not raining um, or to go under a coat if it's really cold. I think it's due to get cold again tomorrow. So um, yeah, I'm really chuffed with that. It's like a really fleecy and soft on the inside. I know somebody else who might steal that from me as well, although it might be a bit big for her. Um, so that was the first thing. Really happy with that. That's a good start. Right, this is the second thing which I'm actually really excited about. It is this, this. It's an LED multifunction motion sensor. I'm treating this backwards. <laughs> Rechargeable lamp. Um, so it is basically a little um, lamp. Now you can, I've seen people have these under their kitchen cabinets um, so that, you know, when they're making dinner and stuff, um, it, it lights up and saves you like, you know, having proper lighting wired in. In our old kitchen, we had proper lighting wired in and it was great. I really liked it because actually in the evenings it was really cozy. You could take, turn the main lights off and just have the under kitchen cabinet lights on and um, it looked really nice. But this um, is just rechargeable and these ones can go on. They're, they're motion sensor. So it only works obviously if you wave your hand underneath it. However, I haven't got it for under the kitchen cabinets. Although if it is good, I may um, get some more. But it comes, basically it just looks like that. It's not entirely, you know, beautiful, but it doesn't matter because you don't see it. It's got a sticky thing that you put on, that you stick on with it, and then a little USB charger. Um, and, if it is it got, I'm not sure. Oh no, it's not. I was hoping it was the same um, connector as the iPhone, the, an Apple one, because um, I could then, because what basically what I'm, speak Nicola what I wanted it for is to go on the shelf above my desk so where I sit and work um, above my desk I've got a nice shelf you will have seen it in my videos for de home decor and stuff and my bulb in my um, office is quite like a like a yellow lamp basically um, and it's not very bright in the daytime it's fine in my office it's nice and bright because i've got right, right next to my window but in the evening especially at the moment when it gets dark a bit earlier um if i've got any later meetings it's so dark and also when phoebe does her homework in the office in the evenings it's quite dark it doesn't my, my lamp my bulb doesn't give a lot of light basically and there isn't a lot of room on the desk for a lamp and i thought this would be perfect just above my computer to turn on to give a bit of extra light and it'll obviously light up as well in front of me so when i'm on a like Teams meeting or whatever, it would brighten up things up a bit. So that is what I've got that for, and I'm really pleased about that. I can't remember how much it was. Um, as, as I say, things are, um, I'll link everything below and you can go and have a look, but I'm really excited to use that. Right, next, what have I got? I don't know what this is. This is like Christmas. Uh, oh, this was, um, that's, this is for Phoebe really, or for me to use with Phoebe. So it's a little hair set. Um, it's a little spray bottle. Um, so obviously if you don't already know, Phoebe does lots of dancing and so we have to do hair a lot. And um, I'm always losing um, combs and brushes. So I've got um, a tail comb, which is really handy. I've got one of these ones, which is really good for doing a bun. <laughs> and one of these, which is really good for like flyaways and stuff like that. So that came as a little set of three. So um, those will be really useful. Next up, I got a hat. So I just mentioned that Phoebe is going skiing. So I got a little hat for her. She's already got a really nice one that Archie bought her for Christmas, which is a Disney, it's a Nightmare Before Christmas one. Um, but I thought hats are always handy to have more than one. So I got this one, which just says happy on the front. I'm not sure whether she'll uh, she'll like that but I reckon I can unpick that yeah it's just sewn on so I could take that off if she doesn't want that on it um, and then inside it is all really fleecy and it's really stretchy as well um, so that should fit her absolutely fine I'm not sure I don't want to put it on me because I don't want to get makeup on it but hang on <laughs> I 
yeah, it probably would fit me, but I think it'll fit her better. It's a little on the small side, so that will fit her fine. So yeah, I'm pleased with that. Oh yes, I bought this for my windows. <laughs> so this is just a window cleaner really, or for the shower. Um, but I got it for the windows, these ones. So I have got a Karcher window back, but I don't use it. <laughs> To be honest, when I bought it, I thought, oh, it'd be amazing. And actually, I wasn't that impressed with it. I can't let you see the packaging. I wasn't that impressed with it. I, I just didn't think that it did a very good job. Um, so I've never really used it. It left like a residue around the sides. And yeah, I just didn't like it. This one, however, so this has a little, little spray bottle in here. So you can spray your little, your fairy liquid or whatever it was you want to list, what you want to wash your windows with. Um, in there and you fill, I can't get the lid on, there we go. And I think you, you fill it up, yeah, you fill it up there. So you fill your thing up with your spray. I'm not gonna hold a huge amount, but that's okay. And then you've got a spongy thing here for washing the window with, and then your, your rubber blade for drying it. I'm gonna give that a go in a bit. The windows outside are an absolute state. I, having a golden retriever has been a real revelation to me. <laughs> that mess is just ridiculous. Anyway, that will be really good um, to use either on the windows or on the shower screens as well. It'll be really handy. So I'm pleased with that too. What else did I get? I just can't remember what I ordered. Um, what have I got? Oh! I forgot I got these. So I got some um, nail polish. Um, oh, I was going to do my nails this weekend. Yay. Um, so I've got some nail polishes. They're only tiny, but these are gel nail polishes. So there are six here. It's a little set of six. I don't, I don't know how good they are. I did look on there to make sure that it was, um, they were suitable for a lamp, a UV lamp. So that's what I got these for. Um, and I got a little set of six. So I got, here's three, first of all. So I got like a very neutral color. Come on. So I got that sort of more neutrally color there. I got a pinky one, which might I might actually do nice for Valentine's. They're, they're tiny, so they're not gonna last more than a couple of uses. Then this sort of chocolatey brown one. Then, Three more. Oh, they might all be the same actually. Oh no, they are slightly different. Similar. It's like, is that chocolate? Yeah, so that, actually that one is sort of more purpley. And then this one, and I can get them both together. There we go. It's slightly more brown. I think hopefully that comes across on the camera. And then I've got these two, which are sort of more variations of of the pink so there's three sort of darker ones and three lighter ones um so yay i'm really pleased with those and then last thing i got was for phoebe as well um obviously i got the hair stuff and the hat for her and then this is a makeup mirror so again this is um more for when we're at dance festivals than anything else it's so that she's got a mirror to do her makeup um until recently i was doing all her makeup for her but she does it all herself now which is much better. Um, hopefully one day I'll get to the point where she can do her hair as well. <laughs> um, so it's just this little mirror and it lights up. It's USB, so that's nice. Um, so you don't have to worry about batteries and stuff. Uh, oh, how does it work? There we go. So it's got a little stand at the bottom. You just click it in, I think. Oh yeah, it's got a little thing to push in. Come on, there we go. There, it's got a little stand. Uh, you can. Oh, you can put batteries in it as well. So it takes three, I'm gonna say one, two, three, four triple A's. So you can do it with that, or you can charge it with a USB, which is probably what I'll do. And there's a little switch on the back as well. They do it in different colors. I think it's black or white. I've got the white one. Um, so that'd be really nice. And it's got the little button on the front to um, to switch it on. So that would be really nice. Addition to our, um, our little uh, dance festival setup. Um, oh, look, you can see, hello. Um, so yeah, that's really cool. 
and I think again that was like a five or something like that so not massively expensive as they all of that came to like 34 pounds so really really reasonable um so yeah I hope that you like that little haul um I'm gonna go and give these bits to Phoebe and see if she's happy with those and um I'm gonna crack on and get on with some housework I think a bit of tidying a bit of cleaning um I'll film anything I think that might interest you um and uh yeah see you in a bit job well done uh, I think this is probably the last outing for this duvet set both in terms of the winter and also all together it's looking a little bit it's got a bit bobbly there's some marks on it where the dogs have jumped up on it <laughs> when they shouldn't have um, so I think well it's clean it's just got a few stains on it so I think it's probably ready to go so I think this will be its last outing and I shall use it for dog bedding or just ditch it um, from then on and we'll get some new winter bedding for next year. Um, I know some people will probably say this is Christmas bedding but for me it's not, it's just winter. And anyway, spring is definitely on its way. Um, but yeah, I'm pleased to have got that job out of the way. <laughs> How many times do you um, strip your bed in the morning and then forget to make it and then when you go to bed at night it needs making <laughs> that's just the worst so uh, I've got that out of the way so that's good um, Andrew just needs to put his clothes away I'm not doing that for him um, yeah I need to do a bit of dusting in here a bit of tidying bathrooms need doing does anybody else get like a, if I have a free weekend like that weekend then just get spent doing all the jobs I haven't done from the previous six weekends that I've been so busy um, and then it ends up being just as busy I I've tried really hard to not quite often like basically Andrew's cleaned out the spare room downstairs which you would have may have seen if you watched my videos for a while um was the lego room moved all the lego stuff down into the playroom that was due to be like a spare room and Phoebe's like second bedroom really a little den you know for her to do her homework in and things like that and then it became a second lego store basically um and all the Legos in there. Anyway, and Andrew has cleaned it all out. It is empty. We've got a day, the Ikea Hemnes day bed in there, which I think is going to go to Andrew's other son, Harry, um, because they're moving into a new house um, and having a baby. So they may need some more furniture. So we've said they could have that. And we want to put a proper sofa bed in there. So I need to purchase one of those at some point. Um, we've got a wardrobe in there. I will show you. Anyway, what I was saying is <laughs> that room needs sorting, we need to de decorate it, we need new curtains and to make it you know, a nice space for Phoebe to be and also to have as a spare room. And I was gonna do it this weekend and I thought, I've got lots of other things also that need doing this weekend and also I have to stop. Um, I've, you know, when you're so busy, you just get so tired and, you, and I forget to stop and it comes to the week a weekend where I'm free and I'm like right I've got a free two days how can I fill it what can I do what what needs doing what jobs need doing and I end up filling it and then going back to work on a Monday morning not feeling like I've had a rest so I am going to not <laughs> not decorate that room um as much as it's very tempting to get started and make it look lovely I'm going to take my time with it um, and hopefully in that time of taking time Andrew doesn't fill it with Lego again. Um, one of the main things we need it for as well, we've got a wardrobe in there is to put, is for Phoebe's dance costumes and it's been really useful actually having that wardrobe in there although it's been difficult to get into it because it's been piled high with Lego in front of it but it's been really good having a, spa a space for all her costumes just to hang nicely and be clean and 
well looked after so that's been really useful but i've been looking at an alternative wardrobe um i'll tell you what let's go down and have a look okay after everything i've just said <laughs> i've just come down and opened the door into the spare room and this is what has greeted me oh look <laughs> my lovely clear spare room is just full of lego uh, well like i mean before it was boxes piled high to the ceiling now it's just lego that's drying it's been washed and it's drying um <laughs> so i can't really get in here anyway that's beside the point right so this is the wardrobe i've currently got um so this used to be in phoebe's room we swapped it for a a narrower but deeper one so she's got a bit more space in her wardrobe now and then this one I don't want to keep it here, I don't think. I want to move it over here. And then this bed is going to go and become a sofa bed, which I want to put on this wall. Um, but I don't know whether this, I mean, this wardrobe obviously will fit on this wall, but it's gonna take a large portion of that wall. Um, and I wondered, I did see on um, the IKEA website, a PAX that was basically a corner one. So it goes along there and then along to about sort of here. So would have as much if not a bit more storage than this because it's a bit deeper um but would take up less space on this wall so then you can have a nice sofa here um or even potentially the sofa could fit in here a two-seater um and then i can have a nice desk over here tv on the wall up here so that's the plan for this room um when all of this is removed um but yeah so at least you know, this has got to go we've got a calyx here that probably needs to go um so it doesn't we need to, to sort of spend some time in here um i think maybe i don't know in the easter holidays maybe we'll have some time <laughs> maybe uh I've, most of my holiday my annual leave is taking up pardon oh because no one ever puts it in apart from me um most of my holiday is being taken up this year with um, dance competition and stuff. So I don't know how much time I'll have for decorating and things, but you never know. Usually in the in the holidays and um, in the summer, weekends are a little bit quieter, so we should be able to have some time to do this. Uh, so yeah, anyway, so this is where Phoebe's dance costumes are. Um, I've actually got some tights. Where are they? Here, that need to go in. Uh, let's see if I can get across. There we go. So this is where they all sit move lego move hold on there we go so some andrew's got some suits in here as well that he doesn't really wear but doesn't want to get rid of and then these are all her costumes loads of them um so what i do in case anyone's interested what i do is every costume she has um basically has if it has little things to go with it so this one has some shorts which don't go on a hanger it has ballet shoes it has um a necktie i put them all in a ziploc bag and put them around the top um, if they'll fit in the wardrobe so this one has um a little hair piece so that's in the bag so that when i come to go all i've got to do is look at it um this one has little this is her actually her dance cut world cup one this has um uh hand and feet warmer things um this tap costume this one just doesn't have much it just has a, a hair piece so that's there these don't have much this one has a whole bag of stuff because it's got shoes and they are up here so if they don't fit on the hanger they go up here um, so this is the one that these tights need to go into so just wash them there we go i stick that back at the top so i know if she needs that costume i just grab the costume and then grab the bag up here another one there and that's her her cat's wig as well in there um, which needs to come out really but i've got nowhere else to put it at the moment so let's just close that up is that going to close why isn't that closing oh that's there there we go so that's her costumes anyway so there we go right i am going to oh there's doggy buddy can you say hello buddy He's got a yakka. Ew. Chewing away on that. Um, right, I'm going to go and put some more washing on and clear up all of this stuff and get on before I have to take Phoebe to dance. What the time is it? It is a quarter past one. All oh, right, we've only got 45 minutes. Right, I better crack on. in the wildest dream I'd see you again never 
never dreamed about nothing else other than you I always thought I'd be waiting Nails are done. Uh, it's not gonna focus, come on camera. There we go, I've gone for a light pink. It's looking a bit white on camera, but uh, I probably should have done them after I'd cleaned the bathrooms, but hopefully they'll survive that. But yeah, I went for light pink. These are the Miley ones. I don't think I'm very good at this. There's some bits that I don't think you can see, but just gone over the edges in place. I need practice, but um, I think I'm getting better each time. So yeah, happy with those. Right, I'm just going to do Phoebe's hair and take her to her rehearsal. Right, I've come into town. I'm just in the car park. I've dropped Phoebe off and I'm going to go and have a little mooch around the shops. I'm quite looking forward to it. I've got a couple of hours. She finishes at half four. So um, I've got, well, about an hour and, hour and 40 minutes. So I'm going to get a into Primark and see if they've got anything basically for her, but also I might look and see if there's anything I might treat myself to. I also need some of those, you know, those black bag clips you get like to put on open bags of crisps and stuff. I've bought so many over the years <laughs> from Home Bargains and Ikea and all sorts and they just disappear. It's like pens in my house. Um, so we've hardly got any left. So I need to get some of those. And I think you can get those in Primark in the home section. So yeah, I'm going to have a little mooch around and see what I find. And if I buy anything, I will show you. Right, we are home. Oh, it's very yellow. Um, Right, we're home. I didn't buy anything much for myself. I'll talk about that in a minute, but I'll show you what I bought Phoebe. Uh, not an awful lot. Um, there she is, look. <laughs> um, so, this is really for her holiday. Hang on, where can I put the camera? On the table. Let's put it here, look. There we go, if I need something higher, let's put it on. Oh, that'll do. So, I bought four feet. This is all from the ladies section though, so if you like it, they'll probably do it in your size. Uh, I bought this jumper. Uh, it says, can't see because the light's not very good. There we go. It says, I'm not putting it in the seat. It says Los Angeles on it. And it's just a zip up jumper and it was uh, 12 pounds. One, two. So that's one thing. I got a pair of joggers. Um, they were nine pounds. Got them in an extra small. Clearly not for me. Um, Neither. Pair of leggings, just ordinary sports leggings. Uh, they were eight pounds. I have three. Just three pairs of those. Now. Underwear, which you don't need to see. Uh, fluffy leggings. Standard fluffy leggings. I have three uh, of them now. Seven pounds. She's got three pairs of them now. Um, and. Favorite. Another top. It's sort of like a, it's not coming up on camera because it's very yellowy, but um, it's like a mushroom colour, um, which is very nice. And it's sort of it's not cropped. It's just it? shortish. Um, and that is it. And then also bought uh, a little backpack for her hand luggage, uh, which is quite good because it's it, it um, can be big or small. It expands. That's the word I was looking for. Um, and that's it. That's all I got for Phoebe. There you go. You wanted that. Thanks. Bye. Uh, I also bought for myself, this was in next, I didn't have anything, anything. So does anybody else have the problem that I have? <laughs> so I want, basically, like, when I used to go out out, like for a night out, I would traditionally wear a pair of jeans and a nice top. Is That's like standard stuff, isn't it? A pair of jeans and a nice top. Um, I haven't been out properly, probably for years really. I don't really go out a lot. But there's a few times recently where I had the opportunity to go out or I've gone out and I've got a few nights coming up where I'll be going out. And I don't have any nice tops. Like I have lots of knitwear, like jumpers, things like this, but or smarter ones even. Um, and that's it. And sweatshirts and hoodies. And, but I don't know what I like. I was looking at like floaty tops. I'm like, nah, it's not really me. Generally, like jeans wise, most of my jeans are like cargo style, quite baggy jeans. I do have some tighter, I have some skinny jeans and some bootleg ones, black ones. So I need some smarter tops to go with those really. I like a blazer and I have got another blade. I've got a black blazer and I've got a creamy colored one in my Shein basket at the moment. And I also have a white shirt 
in that basket. I did see a white shirt in H&M today, which I kind of liked, but I didn't get it. Um, so it's really just, I don't know what, and like a lot of the tops are like either really cropped or really tight. And I, I don't want something that's really loose and flozy, but I also don't want something that's really tight. Anyway, I just couldn't find anything. Um, so I went into next, I actually just picked up a couple of t-shirts, which I thought would be nice underneath a blazer. Um, they're literally just basics, but um, quite nice quality, but they actually look really big. Like this is, this is a 12. I mean, I'm not, I'm usually a 12, I'm not a 10, but this look, it, I just looked at it, I thought it looks massive. And I didn't really want it, but so I might have to take it back and swap it for a 10, but I'm not a 10. Um, I mean, I know it doesn't matter what size you are, um, but you know, I would never normally buy a 10. So I don't know, I got, anyway, I got that one, they're only 7.50. I got that one and this um, khaki coloured one. I mean, even if I don't wear them for going out, they'll be useful in the summer anyway. Um, but yeah, I don't know, what, what, what do you guys wear like when you're going out? <laughs> I want to wear, I want to look nice, but I don't know. I don't know, I don't know what I wear anymore. I don't know, I don't really dress like your average 49 year old, I don't think. I probably dress too young, <laughs> but I don't like, I don't know. I don't. What is that? What, 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 is it, what even is? What even does a forty-nine-year-old wear? I I don't know. I find it hard. Um, the clothes I generally like and wear are like trainers and baggy jeans and stuff, and they're probably not what most people of my age wear, but it's what I like. So therefore, trying to find other things to go with it or things for a you know that are a bit smarter, they tend to either be really young and too young for me, um, or or not what I would wear. Anyway, that's my rant over. <laughs> it's not really a rant, it's just a moan. Um, I don't know what to get anyway, so I didn't get anything. Uh, I might just order the few bits I've got in my Shein basket and um, hopefully they'll, some of that will be okay. Right, I'm gonna put all this stuff upstairs. Um, I think Andrew's done the rest of the washing, so that needs putting away. Um, I've charged that light, so I'm gonna see if that's any good and I'll try that in my office because this is the prop, this is the sort of, this is the sort of time of day that it gets difficult to work in my office. I mean, I don't often work past five o'clock, <laughs> if I'm honest, but up from sort of 3.30 onwards, it gets sort of what my mum would call dimpsy. I don't know whether that's a word that other people use, but it's like when it starts to get dark um, and the lighting is really poor. It's, um, it's like this sort of lighting, because it's very yellow because it's like exposed bulbs, so they're very yellow. Um, anyway, so I might give that a go, see what it looks like. I do just still need to clean the bathrooms. I think if I leave it till tomorrow, I'll regret it. So I might just take, I've got all this stuff to take upstairs. I might also take up the bathroom cleaning stuff and do that too. Um, I probably won't film that though, because it's hard to film bathroom cleaning because the bathrooms aren't very big. Right, anyway, I'll stop talking and just get on. Right, it is quarter to seven. Andrew is just doing the dinner, which is a nice treat. Um, Archie and Leah are downstairs watching the telly. I'm sitting under a very bright light. I'm just in here because I wanted to talk to the camera and everyone's busy <laughs> doing things in different rooms. This was the only place I could come and chat to the camera. But um, yeah, Archie and Leah are watching the telly in the lounge. Um, Phoebe's doing some homework. So yeah, I've just cleaned the bathrooms, all of them. Uh, cleaned some of the doors down in the kitchen where but he is sh shaking himself when he's been wet and dirty and that we're covered in mud. So that's lovely. So I cleaned those. Um, so yeah, place still looks like a tip, but the important bits like bedding's clean, <laughs> bathrooms are clean. Uh, just need to hoover probably at some point, but I'm gonna do that tomorrow. And I also need to mop and um, hoover downstairs, but there's no point in doing that while it's wet outside because the dogs are in and out, in and out. Um, so I keep like mopping the floor every time they've come in, but it needs a deep clean. Um, but I shall do that tomorrow because I believe it's going to be drier. I hope so. Um, so I will probably sign off now. We're going to have some pizza for tea. Um, and then I don't know what we'll do this evening. Not a lot. Andrew and Archie will probably watch a film and I'll probably sit on my phone because <laughs> that's what I usually do, playing games. So I will sign off for tonight and um, catch up with you in the morning when you've got to take Phoebe back to um, dance and then we're going to take the dogs for a nice walk. So that'll be good. So hopefully it will have stopped raining. Otherwise they won't be having a nice walk. <laughs> Fingers crossed.
is not a good traveller in the car and uh, we only went five minutes up the road not even that far and uh, we got back and he refused to get out of the car and Andrew didn't Andrew probably should have like yanked him out to get him out quicker but he didn't and he then threw up projectile vomit all over the edge of the car luckily most of it went on the ground outside and we do have a seat protector in the car so only a little bit went on my seats and on the floor in the car <laughs> so we had to scrub that hose it down the road um, and then uh, wash the dogs and then the dogs kept coming in and running everywhere so anyway I already knew I had to clean the floors and everything today um, and I've got to go and get Phoebe in a minute I've just had a cup of tea and a um, hot cross bun and I've got to go and get Phoebe in like half an hour and I thought well Andrew started doing this job because he got fed up with the amount of shoes and not having anywhere to put shoes <laughs> and then um, he was just literally just chucking all the shoes in a big bag. I was like, no, 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 no. We need to do this properly and sort it out and take shoes out that can be thrown away and put shoes that we want to keep into a bag and put them upstairs or in the attic or whatever for the summer. So I'm now doing this job. So shoes, 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 more shoes. Oh, uh, oh, more shoes. Oh, and there's more shoes. So basically all of this <laughs> was piled high in there um, and it was dirty and horrible so I've literally just emptied all that out I'm going to go in now and clear the rest because if you go into here down there it's just full of junk that does not need to be there most of this stuff can probably go in the attic we don't use it there's like a skateboard there that never gets used you know so we just need to make this a more usable space I have done this multiple times before on this video on this channel and cleaned out this um 
cupboard but uh it just it's one of those things you know we use it every day and it just gets into a state and then also there's coats so there's coats here big pile of coats there's a big pile of coats over there there's a big pile of coats on the back of this door we don't wear all of these coats all the time and we've got this wardrobe now up in the spare room which obviously we can put coats into um that we're not using all the time so like smarter coats and things can be kept in there and then just the everyday ones down here so that is my job but literally i've got to go and get phoebe in i said half an hour it's probably not even half an hour hold on 20 minutes <laughs> so i'm going to make a start on the rest of that, that cupboard and maybe put some of these boots and shoes back in um the ones on the shelves are fine they're all done um and then i'll finish it when i get back from getting phoebe i'll show you what it looks like in a minute right it is 20 past three just put the chicken in the oven for our roast dinner i'm so excited to have a roast we haven't had a roast dinner in 2024 which is not like me at all we usually have one every sunday in the winter and um we've just not been here to cook one so um so yeah i'm very much looking forward to having a roast um actually no that's a lie we had a roast on the first so we had on new year's day but other than that we haven't um so yeah, my office is looking much better. Um, so we have floor. I've actually got rid of this horrible basket that usually sits here that we dump bags in um, because there's no, no room for the bags in here. So we've still got quite a few coats, but those, these are the ones that are worn sort of day to day. And then we've got a few on the back of the door here. Um, shoes are looking much better. There's floor. Um, and then down here, we've just got um, that's my work bag whenever I, I don't go to work very often I mean obviously work from home but I don't go I don't need it very often so that's my laptop bag um, this is just Archie's bag with a few things in there that he has Phoebe's skates which she doesn't really use very much but anymore but and her helmet there um, that's my guillotine that's wrapping paper and then Andrew's work bag and Phoebe's school bag and everything else is there and these are oh these are her snow boots for her ski trip and other boots and things there so that is now done and clean got rid of all those little bits of black that you get from astroturf i don't know if any if you have boys or girls that play football but they get little black bits everywhere so this all needs mopping now but the whole floor does so i'm going to do that later um then my desk looks much better i actually used that squeegee i used it on the shower screens yesterday and I've just used it on these windows and it's amazing it's so much better and easier <laughs> so I'm really chuffed with that that's the squeegee I got from Tibu um, at the beginning of this and then I've just added this little light um, which is brilliant absolutely perfect exactly what I wanted it for um, just to light up my desk a little bit so in the like this time of day when it starts to get a bit dark it means I've got a little bit more light I mean it's not perfect it goes you can make it dimmer as well it's on a magnet so it just comes off like that and you can dim it if you hold it it does dim there we go and then you just hold it again and it gets brighter yay um, and you just switch it once to turn it off so I'm really chuffed with that um, I've got a little charger for it so I can charge it um, on the wall when it needs to and yeah this is looking much better I've dusted all up here I think it's almost time for my winter stuff to come down I'm feeling like maybe next weekend might be the weekend to take it all down and start thinking about putting spring stuff up um, and then out here I've just got some bits that we need to sell I need to get it on Facebook marketplace Phoebe's um, skateboard which we bought her that she desperately wanted and has never used I think maybe once or twice her hoverboard which she bought in lockdown which she has used a bit but doesn't use anymore I've got a pair of um, snow boots there that need to go um, my crane um, gimbal which I used to use I just don't have the need we don't I just don't use it anymore I would quite like to sell that and buy a small handheld one um, so I'm going to get rid of that there's a pair of trainers there I don't wear Phoebe's football boots that I bought her for a match that she took part in and has never played football since <laughs> and some shin pads and socks so some all this needs to go on Facebook marketplace um, or on Vinted and then upstairs I've got a whole load of stuff that needs sorting in the spare room but I'm not going to do it now um, that's a job for another day it's all in there um, but yeah I need to sort that um, so what I'm going to do now is just crack on with lunch or oh, I've got a bag of money I need to count um, we collect pound coins in a little jar upstairs and it's now full so I've put it into it we put it into a bag and we took it into 
HSBC because they used to have a jet sorter you could just pour all your coins in and it would count it for you they don't have one anymore so they've given me a load of bags so I just need to count it manually and then take it in um, and that's going to hopefully going to go into an account to pay for our flights and things we need for Dance World Cup so um, so yeah that's good so I need to get on with that Andrew's just taking Buddy for another walk he hasn't really settled since we got back today he had a little sleep but not like normal he's usually like out for the count um, after a long walk like we did this morning but no he desperately needed another walk I think he's probably hungry we did give him a bit more food obviously because he threw up all his food this morning so we did give him a bit more but he's probably hungry for his dinner so I'm just taking him a good for a good walk a little run with his ball and hopefully he'll settle then and uh, have his dinner at five and then we'll have our dinner which I'm as I say I'm really looking forward to so I'm going to count this money and then um crack on peeling spuds and things if you can hear not sure if you'll pick that up, but Phoebe's playing the flute. She had a good rehearsal, so she's just play, uh, practicing her flute, and I think she's done some homework, so she can chill out for the rest of the day as well. I've also got ironing to do. I did half of it last week, and I should have done the other half, but now it's back up to the pile it was. <laughs> so I'm going to do half today, I think, and then try and do half tomorrow, um, so that it doesn't, so that it gets down to nothing. That's the plan, anyway. Right, I'm going to crack on. Right, it's now quarter past four, so I'm just going to start making the, the dinner, doing the veggies. I've counted most of the money. There's, there were two bags of money from, um, I, I, I did just say, but the, yeah, so we have a, a jar, and we've been doing this for years. It's our holiday jar, so we just put loose, it, it's usually just pounds and two pounds, but this one was like 50p's and 10p's and 5p's and twos and ones as well. But we used to just do one pounds and two pounds. Um, Andrew, obviously, if you don't already know, I don't, I'm sure I've mentioned this before, but we used to have a vending business, so Andrew's pockets were always full of pound coins and two pounds, um, and he used to just come home and empty them into the jar <laughs> at the end of the week, um, and so they would be saved, and then when the jar was full we would count the money and bank it, and that would be our holiday fund. And we haven't used it for a long time because Andrew doesn't work in that industry anymore, so we don't get as much. But so this jar has been going for quite a while, like I, probably for over a year since we've counted it. Um, so yeah, I've done most of it, and we've got more than enough to pay for our flights and part of our hotel. So hopefully, when I've counted the other bag as well that we've got, I might have enough to pay for our full trip to Prague, which would be amazing <laughs> because then we've still got our trip to Disney. Um, Disneyland Paris in October to save for so um, that would be really really good if um, if that will cover our trip because um, that's a big weight off my mind <laughs> I need to book some flights um, we don't let yet know the day that they're dancing so I can't book re return flights but I'm gonna book outward bound outward flights um, I, I actually looked and it's cheaper to book them separately anyway so I think I'm gonna book the trip the flights on the way out just so that I know we've got them um, hotel is booked um, but not paid for. I booked it via booking.com because it's easier to do it that way um, and we might change our mind about where we stay. So um, I've booked that for now and then um, yeah so that's really good. I'm really pleased so I'll count the rest later. Um, everywhere in here is looking nice and tidy just about. I've got to obviously do floors which I've mentioned multiple times. Dog is back. He's calming down now. Um, so yeah I'm just going to crack on and make the roast um, and I might I'm just having a Diet Coke to give me a little pep and uh, I might have a little snack while I'm doing that um, and watch a bit of YouTube say something that will make my day cuz these memories of her won't go away Haunting me so I can't sleep She was a pretty little liar who cut me deep Cause she left me here alone Now my bed feels just like cobblestone Oh, oh. Why did she go? Oh, oh. Was I supposed to know that she'd leave? Was I the naive to think that she'd be the one? Whoa. Why 
did she go? I met her back in 2005. It was her crooked little smile that caught my eye. Time went by and it was her and I. She promised me to never leave my side. Still check my phone Cause I can't move on Whoa. Why did she go? Whoa. Was I supposed to know that she'd leave? Was I... Right, we have just finished up the dinner um, Just cleared and tidied away um, Andrew has popped out to get some ice cream because I bought some sticky toffee puddings and chocolate puddings for dessert so uh, we'll have those a bit later I'm now gonna hoover the floors mop the floors get that done and then do a little bit of ironing just what we need for tomorrow really Phoebe's uniform a few t-shirts for Andrew and Archie don't think I need anything <laughs> um, so yeah just a few bits for tomorrow and then um, I'll sit down it's 10 to 7 so it's not too late um, hopefully be sat down by eight o'clock that would be nice that would be ideal i get a couple of hours three hours <laughs> before bed so so yeah right let's get this floor done um my pain of my life horrible floor but uh yeah it needs a good clean it never looks much different really once i've cleaned it but it feels different i can feel that it's clean that was weird i was just saying my camera's a nightmare and then um my battery went um so th this camera's got uh, this is the g7x a canon and it's got this screen that you flip out so you can see yourself in the top which i should be looking in here i always look up there i don't think you can tell too much with this but um the ones at the side are worse because i have to like you can really tell when someone's looking there but i think it's doesn't you can't tell so much when people are looking slightly above um but yeah the the screen anyway is loose so it keeps flipping back and what you can't see is that I keep going upside down. So when it moves slightly further away, I'm upside down. Anyway, that's irrelevant. Right, shut up talking, Nicola, and get on with the mopping. Then once to show you my intention. My brain gets blocked at times, but now somehow I'll give you my attention. You've got to know that I, I ain't a person who understands. All the clockwork of our romance You make me feel so alive Always there in my mind But I just don't know I just don't know if I'll dance with the lights on If you're gonna be moving on solo Wait a second cause they're playing the best song I'll be there if you reach out to me right it is ten past eight and the ironing is done da, da, da. um didn't do all of it but did everything that i'd hoped to do um and floors are clean so yeah all the jobs are done and andrew has very kindly just made me a pudding so i've got oh look at that sticky toffee pudding and a couple, i mean that that obviously isn't brewed yet <laughs> that's not how i have tea um let's i'll do that in a second <laughs> um but yeah so i'm going to go and enjoy that now and sit down and chill for a couple of hours before bed um so i hope you've enjoyed oh it's very yellow so i hope you've enjoyed this video if you have please give it a thumbs up thank you to timu for um sponsoring the first little bit of the video and gifting me those items um don't forget there's a link down below and discount code um should you wish to use it and i look forward to seeing you next time thank you for watching